The reality of answers and purpose. In our current world, we have access to such an insane amount of information. We have all these different perspectives, you know, from vegan, carnivore, all these different gender identities and these beliefs and like, and there's people like Huberman that are sharing all these um, scientific protocols and all these sorts of things. And it can be very overwhelming and very daunting to find like an answer. Like for me, I've searched, I felt overwhelmed by all these answers. You know, there's so much information, which one do I do? And it's like, so many of them are different and conflicting. It's like cold shower is really beneficial for you, but it can also slow down muscle, um, your muscle repair and reduce the inflammation, which is what you want when you're trying to build muscle. And there's like all the, that's just one example of thousands of millions of different conflicting ideas and answers. And I've scoured the internet looking for answers, looking for a method that would fit me, looking for a purpose that would make my life feel complete, that would make me feel better. And eventually I come to the realization that there isn't one out there because no one else, no, none of the answers have my answers because none of them know my situation. No one else has been through the exact same things as me. No one has the same tendencies and skills built up as me. And that's the thing. We can only find our own answers and listen to other people's advice, try it out for ourselves and then see if it works. The notion that our lives will someday be better allows us to work on our lives without actually solving any of our problems. This was a quote from a book that I read about Chinese medicine when I thought that I wanted to go and study it. And it kind of hit me and realized I was always looking for something external. I was looking for something else to fix my internal state, my internal feelings of angst and discontent and just not feeling like I had a place anywhere. And it made me realize that I thought someday my life was going to be better. Someday an answer was going to fit and I was going to, you know, my life was just going to become better and it was all going to work out like that. And that's not how you find answers. That is not how you find purpose. I can tell you that from experience. I can say that confidently because I've experienced it. I've done it. I spent maybe four to six years just searching, trying to find something and hoping that my life would be better if I had something else. And that's the thing about purpose. Your purpose takes into account all of the things that you have done, all of the things that you've experienced, all of your skills that you've built up. It's like this unique combination of these skills that you've brought up and these components that you've liked. Like for example, in the past, I was always very drawn to video games and it wasn't the kind of RPG ones. It was often the strategy ones and such as like, as a kid, it was like Pokemon. I loved that. And growing up, that was also Hearthstone, FIFA, of course, because I played soccer and I was such a big component of my life. Also Minecraft. And I realized that the components that I liked about this game, because I was doing it for a reason, I was motivated to do it. It's not that I was a lazy person, it's that I was motivated to do these things rather than something in real life. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because through that, I learned that the components about video games that I liked were becoming better, learning new skills, diving into a new kind of topic and trying to understand it and just competing and trying to become like a strategic kind of person and become strategic and like smart and like kind of witty. And that's what I loved about video games. And then I, I've kind of realized now that all oh, these components, they can be utilized in anything. Like I can use these things that I thought was like silly, you know, like it might seem on the surface level that video games are silly and that sort of thing, but I can tune into what those things were to for me and what they meant to me and utilize them, for example, in YouTube. I was always like denying a part of myself and denying these things and just kind of writing myself off because, you know, video games are bad and you need the dark in order to show the light you have to be honest with yourself because otherwise you're kind of on rocky ground and if you're always 
like me, you were always looking for something else, looking for these answers, looking for something to save you. It's not going to save you. All you can do is just pick out these answers that kind of resonate with you, that you kind of think would be cool to try and just go and utilize them in your life and see how it works and see how your life kind of changes. But it's really up to you and you finding the answers for you and only you will know that. You need the dark in order to show the light. If you're denying your bad feelings, if you're, if you're trying to numb out all your feelings and trying to just cut them off, you're also numbing yourself from the bad. You need to feel all of these feelings, which is a great kind of idea that I've got from Chris Bumstead, Seabum, who was four times um, Olympian. And meaning is kind of found through clarity. It's found through solving these problems and working through it and you, as working through it through at your own pace and with the problems that you have because if you're always looking for someone else to assign you an answer to assign you a way to get through or get out of this kind of way people can help you people can provide you some answers and kind of can help give you guidance which is what I'm trying to do here but what I'm saying is don't get caught in these rigid kind of set ways because if you're like me, then you just get stuck and think you're a bad person because you're playing video games all the time, not realizing that there's components in that game that you are getting um, satisfaction from that is motivating you to do these sorts of things. And if you realize that, you can start trying to change it and implement it into a light way that's gonna make you feel better about your life. But it all just depends on you identifying your problems, searching and finding answers, doing a bit of research and then implementing it and actually trying out these things and then seeing how they work and how you feel about it. And that's very satisfying because it's all you, it's all up to you, it's all your own. And it's something that you learn through yourself. And the feeling of satisfaction that you get from doing something of your own that you wanted to do it's hard to explain, but it's very satisfying. It's like deeply satisfying and pleasurable, not in like this instant kind of like dopaminergic way, but in this kind of like satisfying kind of way that makes you feel good internally. And that's the last point that I'm gonna make is that you can't fix your internal kind of state with these external things. I've gotten attached to a lot of external things, you know, feeling like I have to be perfect at something, feeling like, um, playing video games was a bad kind of thing, for example, where I wasn't aware that these external things were giving me something that made me feel... Like, for example, with video games, made me feel internally like I was getting um, satisfaction of improving at something. Or me trying to be perfect was an insecurity inside myself that I was trying to fix by seeing by putting on this mask, by trying to be perfect in these sorts of things rather than just trying to solve the problems and realize that and accept reality. You know, you really have to be aware of reality and what's really true because if you're not, then you're on rocky ground and you're, on, you're building on an unstable basis that's gonna collapse and fall. And trust me, it sucks when that falls apart and you lose your sense of identity and you lose everything that you had built up for so long. It's devastating. Thank you for watching if you did and I'll see you in the next video.